Mary Lou Nuna and her daughter are back home after being at the hospital in Happy Valley Goose Bay. Earlier this month, the six-year-old was playing outside when a dog attacked, biting her repeatedly. For me as a mom, it's really hard to see my own kid like bitten by the dog. And it's really hard. I was crying and I was on Facebook Live and to let everybody know about in our community with the dogs because it's very dangerous. Nuna says stray and loose dogs are a long time problem in the community, but the Shaji Inu First Nation says it's complicated. Director of Operations Gregory Pastishi says the community's opinion is split on whether to let the dogs roam or round them up. We're being told off to leave the dogs alone and whatever, and it's sometimes you feel like you're, what, you're stuck with, what are you supposed to do then? Like, are we supposed to help the community? We're trying to help the community as much as we can. Pastashi hopes the First Nation will pass a bylaw forcing people to tie their dogs up on their property. He says there are meetings ongoing about how to do that. But Nuna is worried there may be more attacks in the meantime, as more children play outdoors this summer. I really want something to be done, like to remove those dogs, because they're really hungry and it's really sad, really sad looking at those dogs and they're eating the garbage. The First Nation has also been working with the Chinook Project to control the dog population. Pastishi says they are working to bring a free spay and neuter clinic to the reserve next summer. Heidi Adder, CBC News, Shajit Inu First Nation.